So it's probably my first vlog of 2019. I'm early morning, slept late, slept rough. Been working out quite a bit. You know, the whole uh, pseudo, I'm gonna get in shape, beginning of the year resolution that fails around February, which is where it is now. Um, and so I'm just gonna try to get a list of all the all the videos I'm backed up on so I can get an idea of what the next few weeks or month has in store for it video wise and just go over that uh, give you a little brief update on me the channel and how things are going or will be going so I'm gonna go through uh, I've got a lot of things pre-recorded that I need to go back in and voice over <clears throat> it's an old iPhone I say old, it's a new iPhone, but it's old in the sense of the iPhone technology. I think it's a 6S. So let me do that. iPhone 6S workout videos. So I've got multiple channels, in case you did not know. One that's dedicated to working out, but more so on karate. Because I do have a passion for martial arts, Taekwondo to be specific, and I put videos on that channel as well as my FM Review channel. So I might, I might put some of the workout videos on FM Review. Mostly it's going to be the um, Mike Wando channel. So my, my wife likes to use dish towels, and, and I do myself when I wash dishes or clean up. And so what I've done is I've installed some knobs to hang those towels on right underneath the sink. I have a new microphone, so that one might be something I can put up today just real quick. I'm just testing it because it's plugged into the camera. In the past, I've had some issues with my old uh, shotgun microphone. So I got this new um, uh, condenser, carotid, whatever you call it, microphone. And I'm just testing it out to see if it works. Let's see here, new micro SD card, mouse mat, yep, new, well, mouse mat for desk. Believe it or not, this mouse mat that uh, right here you can see, have an unboxing video just for the sake of it. Oh yes, a Radio Shack. If you remember Radio Shack, if you're old enough to remember it, Radio Shack made handheld video games, which competed with the Tiger handheld video games. And I had one in the past as a child. I got it one year for Christmas. Sometime in my early, between 10 and 13 years. And over the course of time, I gave it away. I can remember specifically letting somebody borrow it at school and never getting it back. And I was fortunate enough to find it on eBay complete in the box for $20 or less. So I ordered that and I'm going to put a video out for that. Wireless earbuds. A lot of companies approach me wanting me to do videos for them. And it's mostly earbuds. It's, it's kind of hard to break that, I don't know, category of earbuds. Maybe I make good earbud videos. I have no idea. But a lot of companies want me to do that. And I got several of those in the past that I'm behind on making videos for. So I'll have some of those coming soon. Next is doo -doo -doo -doo, Reebok pumps. I'm a fan of certain shoes and I love LA Gears, any, any of the LA Gear brand. And I like all Reebok pumps. Those are my two favorite shoes. Reebok pump just because it was a unique type of shoe. Not, very, not necessarily comfortable, not even pretty, but it was just cool technology wise with the pump in it LA gear I guess it was just part of me because it was more of the it started out being kind of a a brand name and then it sort of tapered off into a maybe cheap and I just had a lot of those as a child and I have a nostalgic attachment to those they break they made their own form of pump shoes and uh, from what I understand and what I remember they're more popular for the lights in the shoes and of course growing up it was easy to get those shoes for kids but now being an adult wearing um, size 11 or 11 and a half it's kind of hard finding those even on eBay 
you have uh, most of those in child's size. So I might end up uh, living vicariously through my son getting some of those. But at any rate, I do have a pair of Reebok pumps that I bought that I'm going to make a video about. Now what's next? It is RGB. Yes, so you can't see it. Yeah, on the bottom here you can see my television. I've got two televisions. Well, i got several televisions in my office. But I have two of them that I've put RGB lights behind. And... It just makes it... Um, it makes my office have like a kind of a game room appeal to it. Supplements. That's another one I have to do. Supplements such as protein, pre-workout, creatine, things like that. I have in the past bought several types, styles, and brands with variation of protein amounts. Uh, the big thing for me is sodium. I don't want any extra sugar or extra salt just for um, health purposes and uh, a lot of times I take them just for the taste wise so I'm not a fan of a specific brand I look at ingredients and taste and price too I've spent seventy dollars on a jug of protein powder and I've spent sixteen dollars on a jug of protein powder at the workout level that I do, it's not really worth a $70 jug just because I don't do professional bodybuilding. I'm not a big guy. Right now, I'm, I'm the heaviest I've ever weighed at 190, and a lot of that's just dad bod. So, my suggestion to anybody that's in my, my situation is if you want protein, just get the cheap stuff. It's better than not taking protein at all, and it's cheaper than spending $70 and not getting any results that would demand the body style or your workout. I like pre-workout. Uh, I like C4. I've had some psychotic, insane, something with a clown on it. And I like the, I like the tingling sensation because I don't have a problem with longevity with workouts. I have a problem with motivating and starting. So if it gives me the tingling sensation, I like it, and C4 does that. That's my favorite one. But I seem to take it on such a regular basis that I get immune to it. And I like to cycle through several different types. And I got a supplemental video that I'm making, which is kind of along the lines of a documentary saying this is the, this is the ingredients, these are why it's important, this justifies the price or the reason to buy this one and so forth. Getting back to working out. Uh, like I said, I've got multiple channels and one of them that I, I'm i fairly active on is my Kwando, which is my Taekwondo channel. And um, I want to maintain my fitness level, not necessarily get better or any, just maintain. Really all I can do at this point while I have a young son. I'm limited to what I can do and where I can go. So I've got a sweat vest which is made out of neoprene and that's the same technology that they use for wetsuits. Anybody who swims or dives is designed to make you warm, especially in cold water away from the surface of the sun and the heat there. But if you wear it at a gym, it makes you sweat. So I ordered a sweat vest and uh, I've done an unboxing. I've wore it several times. And I got a couple things to say about it, so I'll be making that video soon. TV cabinets. Yeah, back, um, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, we were fortunate enough I was able to work some overtime and get some extra money and get some entertainment cabinets. I say that entertainment, I say that loosely. I've made one video of the entertainment cabinet in my office where I've mounted my television on it, one of my televisions, and I've placed some some AV components and game consoles on it but there's a second one that I have in my living room which is it's a nice design type cabinet and it has lamps on the top and it pretty much is a place to house all the DVDs blu-ray and uh, entertainment size style uh, entertainment <laughs> stuff for lack of better words I'm getting tongue-tied I also bought a joystick which is made by what is that company? 
Mayflash, I think it's Mayflash. I did, uh, the reason I got this one was it was an entry level and I'm not an, I'm not a joystick kind of person. I prefer a controller. But I've got a lot of fighting games and I would like to ease into the joystick for fighting games. This one's compatible with PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PC, GameCube, Wii, Wii U, Xbox 360. Of course, you need some adapters, but primarily it's compatible with the PlayStation 2, which is what I have for my yeah, old games. Little... What you got, buddy? Fox. Taking a break now? You got Baby Hulk? It's hmm? got horses. Hulk's flying? Is Hulk flying? Horse and fox. Is that what? Horse and fox. Is what? Horse and fox. Oh! Say hey. Hey, look, say hey. Hey! Hi. That's it, say hey. hey. Baby Hulk, you got Baby Hulk, you got his legs turned around. Now he's ready. Is he ready to fly? Hmm? Fly? Yay, Hulk flying. What you doing, buddy? What are you doing, huh? He's down. He's what? He's down. Hulk sitting down? Is Hulk sitting down? Huh? Wee! Hulk, is he walking? Is Hulk walking? Yeah. son for a little while get that little energy out of him that little attachment where he wants to spend daddy time with me I've got that done uh, the last thing I think I was on is talking about the joystick by Mayflash pretty good um, entry level I'm not a pro I don't do any competitive gaming fighting game wise I do like the relaxation that the clicking sound makes with the joystick uh, one thing that I do have, or that I was fortunate enough to get my wife for Christmas this year, was the um, 400 and something dollar KitchenAid blender that I will be making a video on. But um, she's made some real good food since then. Some cakes, some pies, homemade pasta with the attachments. And I'll be making a video on that because it's a, it's a very good and versatile kitchen tool. I don't really make kitchen appliance videos, but I think it's pretty cool and um, I'm hoping that it won't be too bad of a video. And herbs. Okay, so, uh, or box, I'm sorry. Back last year, I'm not sure if it was springish or maybe, well, probably wasn't spring, it's end of summer, beginning of fall. I got a drill set and a skill saw or circular saw and uh, my wife and I decided to make a, make a box and buy soil for an herb garden and so I got a little video of kind of a how to with that. Uh, let's see here, wedding blog, okay that looks kind of like everything that I've gotten. No I gotta add my TV. <clears throat> So I did uh, in my process or in my in my adventures of going retro and old school with video games. I bought a 13-inch JVC color video monitor slash professional video monitor, and it's made with high-end components such as capacitors and resistors. It's the rounded CRT tube, not the flat digitally CRT tube and it's not LCD technology it's pure old school it was made in 2006 but it was with that old technology and I've got my PlayStation 2 hooked up through S video cables uh, Sony branded S video cables and it's amazing great quality I do plan on making a video out of that maybe how to hook it up in case people are interested in that because a part of me, I guess, maybe seeing my son grow up and have interest in some of the same toys and entertainments that I have, 
it's kind of like I'm regressing into my childhood. So I'm going back ordering some old video games. I've got a, what is that thing? Analog NT. It's a, it's a, it's a remade Super Nintendo by Analog. And from all the videos I've seen on YouTube, it's the best thing that you can get outside of buying $500 worth of um, video scalers and SCART cables to make Super Nintendo look perfect. So I got that ordered. It's on its way. I've picked up a couple uh, Super Nintendo games. Uh, what do I have here? <clears throat> Trying not to stray too far. Uh, Tecmo Super Bowl, Doomsday Warriors, Battle Clash, Super Mario World, Super Street Fighter 2, Eye of the Beholder, Act Razor, Wheel of Fortune, and Batman Returns, which my son likes Batman. I like Batman. And as far as a side-scrolling beat-em-up game and a comic book game, this is great. Now, I also have the SNES Classic Edition and the NES Classic Edition that I have hooked up on my other TV here with uh, HDMI. And it does good. He likes watching me play Mario, which... Um, I have Mario RPG that I've been playing and Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. I hadn't played I hadn't hooked up and played the regular nin Nintendo yet. But I do have a lot of things that I have to catch up with. Um Oh yes, one last thing, I believe. So I moved from uh kind of north of Mississippi to central Mississippi and I had uh, my past is in t uh, for 10 years I was an IT tech and so I have uh, I had a working knowledge of computers back in 2000 to 2010 actually 99 to 2009 2010 I joined the fire service and uh, everything is kind of passed me up now but back in those days I was building computers Primarily for gaming and uh, fixing them from an end user standpoint for my job. But I bought this back in, I'm not sure what year this is. I guess maybe that model would kind of give you the date of when it came out. Is there one on the back? Um, I don't see anything on the back. Oh yeah, 2007. So this was a 2007 video card. And I can tell that it's primarily new because it has an adapter from DVI to HDMI. I don't know uh, as far as the 830 megahertz, 1.8 gigahertz, uh, GDDR4. Those are all numbers that I used to know what they were and why they were important, but I don't know now. But I will be doing an unboxing and kind of a refresher for myself and feature um, video for this. At some point in the future, it's no rush because this has actually been in storage for 2007 until 2019, over 10 years. And uh, I don't even know if I have a computer that I can put this in. I've got some old desktop computers laying around, but I'm not sure if the motherboard is PCI Express compatible or not. So I'll have to look and see what computers I have, what hardware that I have that's compatible to this. And so at some point I'll be making a video of this card. Well, thank you for spending your time and watching this video. Hopefully I didn't bore you too much and hopefully I haven't lost anyone's interest that is subscribed with the drought of videos I've been making. It's, um, it takes a lot for me to uh, do a video that I feel satisfied with quality-wise. And so that's why I really haven't been making any. I could throw a lot of them up like this one, which is very rough, not scripted, uh, probably not edited that nice. Sound quality is probably echo and tin like because I'm doing it in my office, which doesn't have any type of sound deadening. And I just threw something together, just randomly saying, 
hey, I'm still alive, I'm still here, I still have passion for videos, it just takes a lot of time. Like I said, I didn't even take a bath, I just hopped up this morning. I saw that there was some snow outside and I decided it's 2019, I'll make a video update, channel update, say hey and let you know that I'm still here for everyone. Thanks for watching. If you are still interested, go ahead and subscribe to keep more awesome FM review videos coming your way.